the Infinity Flow S1 from Infinity Flow 3D got an upgrade. We've got filament cutters now. It's something I've been waiting for, and I did mention it and show off the video that they had sent me a couple weeks ago when we got the unit in, but I haven't put them to the test yet, so that's what we're gonna do today. The installation of this is really straightforward. You just basically get this little unit itself that's got the cutting mechanism in there, and there's two tabs here, and there's a tab on the front and the back side, and that just slots into place. And then your filament gets loaded into there, just like that. So I've got maybe 100, 120 grams on this spool of Elegoo PLA, and then I just loaded up some random Overture PLA on the other side. Hopefully the print settings don't need changing too much. Usually I just run everything at the same setting for regular PLA, so we'll see how that goes. Now the reason these are nice is because when you run out of filament on an Elegoo spool, typically you've got this little piece that gets stuck in there. So what happens is either this tends to flop around or you get this little nub here that as it's feeding it down through, ends up getting caught on the end of the PTFE tube. What this is supposed to do is sense tension and this whole unit itself comes down and should cut the end of the filament off. So because you can never have too many bins, I figured I'd give this one a go. It's about 55 grams and I swapped the spool that was on there for a slightly less filled spool. That way we're not uh, running through a three or four hour print just to see the functionality of this cutter. So obviously one of the benefits to using a machine like this or a system like this, aside from the fact that it automatically swaps filament from one roll to the next, you also don't have to reach around to the backside of the machine where most printers have the filament holder on the backside this just runs a PTFE tube into the normal connection slot on the backside of any machine, and then you're able to easily load and unload filament from this guy. So it's gonna take a minute or two to get this thing going. It's gonna go through its preheating and automatic bed leveling process, and we'll check back in periodically, especially once it gets closer to the spool running out. So that worked exactly as it was supposed to. It does lift up on these spools a little bit, but just the tension from this thing coming down on it released it just as it should. Now, I don't know if we're gonna get to see the filament change over because we are at 94%, but I'm very happy with how that works. So basically after it cuts the filament here, there's still about 12 inches or so that has to run through this bottom PTFE tube up through into the back there where the splitter is, and then it should automatically kick over to this next spool. And just like that. Now, like I mentioned, we are at 95% complete and there's still a fair amount of filament that has to run through the back PTFE tube all the way down into the extruder. So chances of this actually switching over to that green are very slim, but we'll keep an eye on it. It looks like we're just barely gonna see a filament change over on this. I just saw it enter the extruder head. Boy, that couldn't have happened at a more perfect time.
That looks pretty cool too. So you saw it there, real time, how the filament cutter works, and then also how the infinity flow system works as well. We just barely made uh, the filament swap over into the green. So I actually really like the contrast between the black and the green on here too. But the main test for today was to see how that filament cutter works. And I'd say at least from the first test, it works pretty well. They were super easy to install. And I believe they are available on Infinity Flow's website. Maybe not by the time this video comes out, but they should be coming soon if they're not already available. Now the Infinity Flow S1 filament changer, if you haven't seen the video previously where I kind of went over what that machine is all about, essentially it's a automatic filament changer, obviously, but it's for machines that are not already capable with something like an AMS unit. So your Creality's, your Flash Forge, your, you mean even the Neptune 4, you could hook this up to that and continuously run the filament through. Now, I know my buddy Matt over at Technical Stinkers has the Orange Storm Giga from Elegoo. I really think this machine is perfect for that size machine, just because of how big it is. This is the three kilogram version. So if I wanted to, I could load up six kilograms of filament onto this and just have it continuously cycle through. Now I know with a machine like the Adventure 5M from Flash Forge, you're really not gonna be running through two or three kilograms of filament, but it is really useful if you have, you know, 50 or 60 grams left on one color and you wanna use up some old spools or, you know, not waste your filament. But they do offer this in the one kilogram version as well as the three like I have here and then a five kilogram. So essentially 10 kilos of filament that you could stack up on there and continuously cycle through, which is super helpful for big machines like the Orange Storm Giga. So that's just a quick raw first look at the filament cutters on the Infinity Flow S1 from Infinity Flow 3D. When you order the Infinity Flow, they give you a number of options as to which machine you wanna hook it up to. They sent over a couple different variations for the one they sent me. So I had connections for the A1 and A1 Mini, the Flash Forge, and then just a regular PTFE tube coupler if you wanna hook it up to machines like the Chidi Plus 4 or the Neptune 4 Plus. If you think the Infinity Flow S1 will be a good addition to your print farm or your 3D printing setup, I have links down in the description below. And full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. So if you do make a purchase using that link, I get a little kickback. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps to support me and the channel. Again, thank you to Infinity Flow 3D and their team over there for sending over the S1 filament changer. I've been putting it to use over the last couple of weeks here in the print farm, and it's been an awesome addition for running through some of my less than full spools. If you didn't catch the first video where we set up the Infinity Flow S1 and want to check that out, I've got it queued up for you right here.